guys, welcome to the second video tutorial from the Java for Beginner series. Today we'll cover um, basic Java syntax and primitive data types. So first of all, just go to your um, Java tutorials folder. You should have it from the previous video. If you don't, then just create one. We'll create a folder for this tutorial, tutorial01. And also create a source code file tutorial zero one that Java. We'll copy and paste the um, Flow World program so that we have something to work with. And we need to change class name to tutorial zero one since our file is called tutorial zero one. Okay, uh, we'll examine each line and then um, I'll explain how things work in here. Tutorial01 is the name of the class, as you can see here. And this, is, this should be the same as file name in order to compile properly. Then we have, um, yeah, by the way, don't worry about classes and methods for now. We'll, do, we'll cover them in different tutorial. Um, because they're a bit more complex for now. These are um, opening and close brackets. They are used to create a wrapper for the class or method bodies and for some other things, which we'll cover again later. There are two styles of bracket matching, and this is one of them. And the other one is when you have an opening bracket on a new line. So on the next line and not on the line with your code. So you can use either, but try to uh, keep using one of them because mixing them in the same program makes it very difficult to follow your program, uh, follow your code. This line here, public static void main, is the entry point to the program and Every Java program that can be run will have public static void main um, somewhere in its body because this signifies where the code will start its, um, its first execution. So this is the first line of code that will be executed when this program is run and then it will terminate. Um, we have here the hello world program which prints um, this string of text, hello world to the standard output. In our case, that's the terminal. As simple as this uh, example may be, we now have one of the most useful tools, which is um, the ability to print something to the terminal, so we know what's going on inside the program. Um, along with the strings of text, you can print um, variables, values, um, even objects when we'll deal uh, with classes. There is also another um, print function, which is um, print method, sorry. System.out.print, which um, prints pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that we will not put a new line character afterwards. So basically this line will be printed and then the next hello world will be printed on the same line. We can check that by compiling running the program. Yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention in the last video that um, when you type cd, that's, which stands for current directory, changes your directory to the one you type. So cd, let's go up. cd Java tutorials, tutorial01. And now we're going to compile our program, Java C tutorial.java. And finally run it by just supplying the tutorial with your one, the just the name um, of your dot class file. As you can see, hello world, uh, both of them were printed on the same line because after, after this print, there was no new line character. So the terminal. Um, just kept printing on the same line. 
if you put Ellie in there, you can see it both um, of them will be printed on separate line. Yep, hello world um, and two separate lines. Um, another useful thing in um, Java syntax is commenting. So these two forward slash characters signify that anything that comes after them will be a comment. So let's say this line prints hello world um, and puts a new line character. Um, I think it's time to start covering the um, eight Java primitives. There are only eight of them, um, and they are int, short, then long, and byte for whole values, double and float for um, decimal point values, and there's also char and boolean. <coughs> We'll cover the last two chart one in the next video. Um, for now, we'll just focus on um, these types. I've separated them in this format because in short, long, and byte, they all can hold a value, which is a whole number. We tend to call them values because you can, um, this is sort of a generic ter um, term you can use for uh, pretty much any variable. So a variable is a, this memory that holds a value. And in short, long, byte, and all other things are types of this variable that you'll create. So we can now do something like int age and then assign um, a whole number or a whole value. Um, <clears throat> to be sort of, if you're into terminology, then We've just declared a local variable called age, and we've initialized this variable with a value of 23, which basically means we've created a variable called age and then um, assigned 23 to it. Now, when we print this um, to the screen, I'll just remove one whole world. And we, we print age to the screen. We should get, we should get, 23 on the screen. Yeah, by the way, if you're using um, Eclipse or NetBeans or any other um, ID for Java, then you can continue to do so. I'll be using text editor and command line to just show you what's going on behind the scenes. At some point, we'll move on to um, Eclipse. Yep, there we go. Java tutorial 01, and this prints um, our age, which is 23 in our case. If we were to create another variable, um, let's say double, I'll just remove those, um, double height, double and float, they, um, they both can contain a value, they can hold a value which is uh, which can has decimal point in it, so basically um, any values, including um, whole numbers. So that's perfectly fine. And that is fine as well. Now let's print height to screen. Yep, there we have it. 23 and 1.74. Uh, from now on, if we need to use a whole number or a whole value, if we need to store, then we'll use an int because they both can hold a whole number, however, the range is different. So for int, um, that's like, actually, let's print that to the screen. The range of ints. Um, just add that print. <coughs> Print line, integer, and value. Integer, max value. Okay, 
save that, Java C, and Java. So there we have it. These are the minimum and maximum value for an int. So you can store up to and um, up to this value in your int variable. Short has a shorter range. Long has a longer range, obviously. <laughs> And uh, byte can only contain values from minus 120 to plus 127. But if we need to use a um, full number value, we'll, we'll be using it because this is the most commonly used um, primitive data type. And same with, um, same applies for double. We'll be using double for uh, decimal point values. Float has, uh, less precision. So double has the double precision of float. Let's see what we can do with these things now. Uh, let's print a let's print a sentence then. So let's um, just do a system that out that print line. Um, just print uh, my age is. There's a space after the word is because um, so that there will be a space between is and the next number that we're gonna print. Actually, I'm gonna use print line here because so that I can print um, height on the next line. Sorry, age. And then system that out the print uh, print line. My height is. Or it should be print. I compile that and run it. So yeah, my age is twenty four, my height is one point seven four. Now we have a tweet of tools to inform the user what's going on inside the program by using system either system.out.print or dot print line. Um, and I think that's it for this video. In the next video we'll cover um, characters and billion um, types. And I'll probably add um, something more like I don't know. Yeah I can think of real anything right now. Um, thanks for watching.